Hey there, YouTube. Tristan Blaze, supplement review time. Body Fortress Energy Protein. The protein powder with 90 milligrams of coffee. And let me check if that's 90 milligrams per one scoop. Yeah, 90 milligrams per one scoop. Mocha Cappuccino flavored. I bought this at tax time. Um, I want to mix it with my coffee. See how it is, you know, maybe switch over to it. I don't know. Mmm. Ah, banana cream. It's awesome shit. Now, the problem with this will be talked about in a bit. We're going to do a little bit of a comparison. I take EAS soy protein, I get about 180 calories, 1 gram of fat, 19 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein per scoop. 14 scoops in a tub, and $10 a tub. $15 here, 130 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, 8 grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein and 18 servings. So I get a little bit more, I get four more servings for five more dollars. Value-wise, I can't really condone that. It's, eh, I don't think it's that really amazing when it comes to that. If I wanted to switch to more lower carb protein sources, yeah, I could see doing this if I really wanted to. But there's a higher fat content, so I'd have to put that into consideration. Calorie-wise, it's like 50 calorie difference, not a big difference. You know, not unless you're taking like 10 scoops of protein a day, there's not a big difference in calorie content. Taste-wise, it's good. I like it. You know, the taste is good. Um, you know, it's it, it, it's relatively simple. I just, you know, throw it into my coffee and I stir it up and there it is. There's my protein shake. You know, throw a little bit of honey into it for extra carbs if you want to. Problem is the fact that that that's how I mix it. It doesn't mix well when you're using a spoon, which is what I do in, at breakfast time. I take my soy protein. It is very, very mixable. I love it. That's why I love EAS soy protein. I can just take a spoon and stir that shit up in a cup of coffee, and boom, it's done. Throw some honey into it, get my vitamins and, you know, all that other hunky-dory pills and shit that I take in the morning, and bam, I'm off to the races. This doesn't mix very well. It clumps together. You get this little, like, fucking, you get these little clumps like that big or this big just right on top, just sitting there. What are you doing? Come here. All right, get on the couch. Oh, calm down. So there's the problem. In terms of an agitator, mixing it in a shaker cup with water and an agitator, yes, it works perfectly fine. But I didn't buy it for that. I bought it to put it in my fucking coffee and stir it with a goddamn spoon. So it doesn't work, I'm going to switch back to my EAS soy protein when this runs out. Now, you might say, but wait a second. Why don't you just put your coffee, freshly brewed, into the shaker cup Put that into it and throw your agitator into it. You go ahead and try that. I know some basic physics. I know some basic thermodynamics. Good luck with that. That shit will fucking explode. Put it into a blender and do it. That shit will fucking burst. Trust me on that one. The pressure will... It'll generate an internal pressure. It'll pop the top on your shaker cup. It'll crack it, it'll um, pop the top on your blender, whatever whatever you're using, it will do that. This I could see as a product if you want to stack it with like hyphy mud and you needed like extra protein prior to going to the gym and a little bit of an extra caffeine boost. I don't recommend you take hyphy mud though, so eh, that recommendation right there is basically worthless because I wouldn't take hyphy mud to save my fucking life. But if you just want to mix it with water, mix is fine with an agitator. But that's not why I bought it. 
So, if you're going to use it, that's how I would mix it. The reason why I bought it, it just doesn't it it it, it doesn't suit my specific need for that powder. It just doesn't. So once I'm done with this, I'm not going to use it anymore. I like the fact that they got caffeine in it. I, I, I'm a big, big caffeine guy. But I, I, I would say take this back to the fucking drawing board, dude, and make it more mixable when using just a spoon to mix it because it's 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 just easier it, it just really is easier because when i first started working out first started lifting weights around 17 i didn't have a shaker cup i didn't know what a shaker cup was i didn't know what agitators were i would just throw shit into milk and stir it up and it was always the same crap it would always just clump up and it was like fuck this is stupid how do people fucking have these really good looking shakes? Like, what do they do? They, they put this shit in a blender or something? And of course, you know, being in, you know, low income housing, well, projects, basically, um, I, I didn't have a, uh, I, I didn't have the finances to, you know, go buy a blender. Shit, now I got me, I got, I got a fucking ninja blender. You know, I got that fucking, like, neutral ninja shit and stuff now. You know, I mean, that's what I got. So it's different, but still. Okay. Okay product, you know, taste. If you're a coffee guy and coffee girl, taste is, you know, mocha cappuccino. It's, that's, that's a taste. Tad bit, tad bit chemical. You know, in terms of aftertaste in my eyes. But the the, 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 the the killer for me, reason why I'm not going to buy this anymore, is the mixability. It is just too much of a pain in the ass to mix that shit. I'm not throwing hot coffee in a fucking shaker cup or blender and, and, and just shaking it up and mixing it. Because basic physics, basic thermodynamics, you know, 101 here. The internal pressure generated by that heat is going to cause it to burst. It's a very brute force and very rough explanation, if you will. Just Google that and you'll find a better explanation. I'm not a teacher. I just learn shit. But if you don't do it that way, if you actually do, just like throw it into water, throw it into an agitator, shaker cup, boom, 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 you're good. I'm not going to be using this product anymore. It was good. It was nice. It was a good change of pace. Something to try. But, I need something I can mix with a spoon. And this just doesn't cut it. Sorry. So, if you got any um, questions about anything else related to this or any other supplements, just drop a question in that video. Like, don't drop a question about creatine in the glutamine video because I'm just going to be like dude just check out the creatine video it just, just, just check out the damn video I might have answered your question in that video I got other products I'm reviewing I got 5150 I got a review still I, I haven't it's just been hectic kids have been out of school for about a week they just went back this week uh, a lot of shopping that my wife wanted to do, 10th anniversary that I'm planning. Um, Jesus, so much crap. This, this is this is like like this time period is just so hectic for me. Like February is a very hectic month, man. It really is. A lot of magic decks I'm building. So, got a lot of other videos for those planned. I got uh, Body Fortress, Banana Cream. Cinnamon swirl planned. I got another amino acid product. I forget which one it is. I think it's a six star product. Mile build or something like that. Um, 
I got the body for I got, I got body fortress weight gainer too. This I'm trying to think is there something else that I got, but I totally am Oh the 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 um Well I saw this at Walmart, like the shredabolic um stuff by Body Force. I wanted to check that out, so I bought it. I was like, oh let me see how that works. So I got that, I'll review that. Um I'm thinking about doing Biogram. I'm thinking about it. Um you know, I wanted to wait a few years. It came out a few years ago. I wanted to wait and just, okay, let's wait for the hype to die down. If the hype is dead within like two years, obviously it's not a really good product. But it's still getting, it, there's still very relevant fucking conversations to it like a week ago. From guys like Jerry Ward and Jason Blaha. You know, these are, you know, guys in the fitness community. They're still talking about it. So I'm thinking about trying it. What are your thoughts? I'm like, eh, I don't know. You know, I'm not 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 100 percent. You know, on the whole idea, just eh, I'm thinking, thinking about it. So, what are your thoughts on that? And any questions on this? Once again, I'm not going to be using this anymore. Also. Got me a slingshot. And it's it's my color. It's just it's just badass. I like pink. I like the color pink. I really do. Ah, that neoprene smell. Oh God. And eventually they'll just smell like sweat and shame. So I got slingshot. I'm planning to do um, training videos. More more importantly, my own personal training program I'm putting together for this and I want to see if it uh, has weight because if it does this could be an immense tool for uh, increasing your bench if not fuck it I tried so like comment subscribe ask questions all complaints shove them up your ass I don't care peace